Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we will discuss about how to get started with Power Apps. What is Power Apps? And also we will discuss about the advantages why we are now using Power Apps and then how we can create an app from a SharePoint list by using Power Apps. I'll show you step by step. That is very simple app that we'll create. And then I will also explain about Power Apps licensing because that is very important. You should know what are the licensing options that Power Apps provides or Microsoft provides and how we can use it. Now, uh, what we will do is I will open the article. So basically, I have created a complete blog post on the same where you can follow also step by step how we can create the app. And then I have explained all this uh, uh, whatever we are discussing here. So now let us first understand what is Power Apps. So it's basically a service based application that we can use to develop custom business applications for our organization. Now, let us say you have some requirement, then you can use this tool to develop those apps so that your users can use it. And this is also known as a low code tool, as I said before, that uh, you don't need really developer knowledge to use power apps or to create apps for that. But of course, if you have developer knowledge, then it will be helpful for you to uh, to implement or enhance the functionality. Now, not only just creating a app for the SharePoint list or something like that, Microsoft allows us through Power Apps to connect to various data sources. I think more than 300 data sources that we can connect and create apps, create business apps. So these are like Office 365, SharePoint, Excel, SQL Server, your Azure, Dynamics 365, Jira, your OneDrive, Google, everything. So everything we can use, there are various data sources that we can use to create our apps. And also, um, once the app is ready, then you can share with uh, the users so that they can use it. Um, you can share with your team members. You can also make co-owner a, uh, a team member who can uh, go ahead and modify the app as well. So, uh, and one more uh, thing that we can uh, do here is uh, you can create apps for the tablet layout and phone layout as well. So, apart from that, also you can create responsive. Uh, uh, apps also now how to uh, let's see how we can get started now when you will actually create a apps so basically it allows us to create three things one is the canvas app so where we can create from a blank canvas app uh, or even we can connect to various data sources so in this case it will be for the from the ui you will start it and then you can connect to the data, data sources and in this case it allows us uh, whether you want to create a mobile uh, layout or you want to create a tablet layout so both the things it will it will uh, ask and then you can select the layout and you can start with then the other one is the model uh, driven app so model driven app is basically where you are starting from a data so which is stored in the dataverse to model your forms or the views now in my previous video in what is power um, power platform i have explained a little bit about that in future videos we will explain more as well so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 power platform all these videos you will get it and the last one we it allows us to create is it we can create public facing external website by using power apps so that is known as the portal so we can do that as well now, what are the benefits that we'll get it? Uh, now, um, see, when we uh, talk with, about Power Apps, uh, as a SharePoint developer, first thing comes to mind as is it, is it a replacement to our InfoPath, uh, which was quite popular. A lot of organizations are still using InfoPath because it's still supported. Uh, so the answer is yes, you can consider. You can consider of uh, using Power Apps instead of InfoPath. Um, but in power apps there are a lot more things that you can do so as i said it's not as specific to sharepoint product or a microsoft thing is now you can connect with a lot of data sources various data sources and you don't really need to write code you can simply use drag and drop option and you can uh, you can uh, develop your apps and also um, you can create apps for mobile devices for your desktop or the browser so both the things it it allows us and uh, apart from that, also there are various connectors. As I said, there are certain premium connectors that we can use, certain free connectors that we can use. 
and also there is uh, low cost apps are there so uh, there are various plans we'll discuss in the licensing part and also power apps is fully integrated with microsoft flow or power automate so that uh, you can also design your flow uh, uh, for your business needs so um, another thing is the efficiency as i said previously what used to happen when you will decide that we will create an app for something so you have to contact with your developer team sometimes it might be a third party vendor so you have to do that but in this case uh, you don't need to do anything you can simply start with so you can you can just select a template and you can start with if you are using sharepoint you can from sharepoint itself you can start it start with so you you can do that and uh, now let us see how we can create a app we will see from a sharepoint list how we can create it that's a simple very simple app we'll create and then we'll discuss a little bit about the licensing part as well now before going to uh, the um, uh, creating the uh, app so if you are interested to learn sharepoint if you want to master in sharepoint development then i have a complete sharepoint training course where uh, everything is there it has spfx your office 365 of sharepoint online power platform everything is there nintex also is there so i have a, i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that now coming back to the demo i have a uh, sharepoint list you can see here this is a issue tracker list basically this is a list that i have used a template to create it so when you will create a list you can select a template and this is the default template which microsoft provides and then that one i am using over here now in this case uh, if you want to create an app based on this particular list then you can see there is a integrate button button in the ribbon and then you can see power apps so these things are changing um, you know time to time um, so i hope if you are using a new tenant you will see the options like this previously it used to come over there in the ribbon directly now you can see here integrate power apps and then you can see it is saying create an app uh, see all app you will be able to see all the apps and then customize forms now understand this we are not customizing the form here uh, that means if i'll click on new now the list form will open you can see here uh, if you want to customize that then you can select this customize form option but in this case what we want to do is we want to create a brand new app from this particular list so i'll click on create an app it is asking to provide a name for the app so i'll say submit issue and then click on create so once you click on create you can see here it is opening uh, this particular uh, uh, you know create.powerapps.com um, you can also directly log into powerapps.com and then you can uh, you can start creating the app but in this case just to show you uh, you can see here i have started from a sharepoint list now it is taking some time to load it now you can see here our uh, apps is you can see this is now microsoft created an app i didn't do anything over here just i uh, click on one click button and then you can see here uh, this app is ready now let me just increase a little bit of you can see here uh, if i will just give an overview by default microsoft created a browse screen a detail screen and a edit screen so edit screen will be used for new and uh, you know edit items detail screen you will be able to see detail of an item and then browse screen this is the screen that you can see here where you can search you can do sort all these things you can do it here now you can see here there is a preview button so if i'll click on this preview button you can see here this is a fully functional app that microsoft created for us now on these uh, things you can see here by default since there is an item in the particular list uh, you will be able to see that item you can see if i want to see the details click on this arrow button you can see you'll be able to see the title description all the columns and then you can see if you go back you can come up to this screen and then you can use the search functionality and uh, you can refresh it you can sort also now if you want to add one item click on create you can see here this is the create screen over here so i will say let's say i'll say test test description and then you can set the priority let's say it is high status blocked assigned to maybe i'll put my name here you can see 
now you can submit item by click on this you can see once you do this you can see second item is called created so you can if you, if you want to go see the details you can see the details if you want to edit it click on the edit icon and i will say test update and then you can save so now you can see here now this is test update if you want to delete it go go ahead and click on delete you can see here the item has been deleted so that means with just one click we have a complete app over here and uh, if you want to save it you can see here it's already actually saved for me when it created and if you'll go to powerapps.com now you can see here i'll go to powerapps.com and if you have not signed in just click on sign in over here now go to apps now here you can see the submit is swap now if i'll go here play it you'll be able to see the app here you can see this is the app now if i will go to the list you can see i will just refresh this list once if i'll click on new item you'll be able to see here uh, the out of bus screen because we have not customized this we in the future videos we will see how we can customize the list screen as well so this is how we will be able to create a fully functional app just by a couple of clicks and uh, you can also share with your users those things you can do now what we will do is we will discuss about the licensing little bit on this because the licensing options are very important in especially in the power platform uh, even in the last video i have uh, i told that there is not a single license for power apps power bi or power automate or power virtual agents so there are different license for power bi power apps and all these things so in this case if you'll see here um there are uh, basically you can access power apps from the standalone plans like microsoft has uh, two standalone pla plans are there one is power apps power app plan and power user plan and the other one is if you have dynamics 365 license then you can access it if you have an office 365 subscription which i have and then also you can use power apps so this three by this three way you can access it now this standalone plan power app plan and power user plan so there are certain differences in this so if you'll see here the per user plan uh, in in this case uh, there you can be able to run two apps and it allows one custom portal so for this but if it is per user plan then you can have unlimited uh, uh, you know apps that you can create and here you will be able to use the standard premium and uh, custom connectors uh, also you can use the on premises gateway so connectors uh, there are certain free connectors which is known as the standard connectors but there are certain also premium connect uh, connectors that you can use so those products you can use or those apps you can use or the services you can use if you have this license and here also it is same now uh, for the data verse the user will have only read access if you have a power user plan and also here also you have the same thing in the dataverse so that means you will be able to uh, create and access custom tables in the dataverse so dataverse is nothing but it's kind of table which are stored in in the in the cloud and that we can use in uh, any of the power platform services and also you can execute automated uh, flows instant flows schedule schedule flows so that you can use it here and in this case only 50 mb dataverse database capacity will get 400 mb dataverse file capacity and 100 daily power platform request you will be able to get it sorry 1000 daily power platform request that you understand on this plan in this plan uh, for this uh, power user plan you have 250 mb dataverse databases and 2 gb dataverse uh, file capacity and 5000 daily power platform request so you can understand there is some differences on this and then uh, um, the other thing is uh, whether it is uh, available in microsoft 365 plans or office 365 plans it's yes it is there uh, so you have unlimited canvas apps that you can create but you cannot run model driven apps so for that you have to go for a stand alone plan and uh, a custom portal you will not be able to do it on this office 365 plan and also standard connectors we can use but you cannot use uh, premium connectors on that so dataverse we can utilize for teams only and daily power uh, platform request is 2000 that we are getting so in this case if the question is uh, whether uh, power apps is included in office 365 or not yes it is included uh, and you will be able to use non premium connectors which are like your sql google drive uh, your uh, one drive for business those things you will be able to uh, get it 
and uh, so how you will be able to know the connectors when you will be able to see their diamond symbol that means those are premium connectors uh, you will not be able to use on this and then whether we can use uh, power apps for free or not yes you can use for free one thing is there are a 30 day plan that you can use it the other one is you can uh, use the uh, power apps developer plan so which is which was known as power apps community plan previously it was known as and you can sign up for that of course you need a business account or you can say school and or a um, you know company account you need you cannot use your public domain account for for that thing and also uh, i i'll put a link where you can register for uh, uh, this one where you can go for a, where you can sign up for a uh, developer plan so that you can use it now also i'll have I, i'll have another video where i have explained how we can uh, access power apps for free i'll put the link in the video description so this is how we can start with power apps i hope you got an idea what is power apps what are the advantages how we can create it from a basic uh, of course we created a basic app we didn't do any customization we'll do in the future videos as well and then power apps licensing as well so we will we'll, i hope you uh, this video must have been has helpful to you and if you want similar kind of videos kindly subscribe to the channel you will get lot of free videos on on sharepoint and office 365 power platform spfx all these technologies so thank you and have a nice day